Tesla is now renowned as one of the most valuable firms in the world and one of the most profitable automakers. However, some of you are unaware that the company was on the verge of going bankrupt only a short while ago. Elon Musk single-handedly saved Tesla from going bankrupt, and he talked about it a while ago. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we will show you how Elon Musk saved Tesla from going bankrupt. Tesla CEO Elon Musk wasn't always convinced that his electric car company would succeed. When we first started Tesla, we thought it would fail. Tesla, in particular, we thought would have a very low chance of success, Musk said. But as we all know, Tesla grew to become one of the biggest companies in the world, and Musk made it a reality. Tesla was launched on July 1, 2003 in San Carlos, California by two engineers Martin Eberhardt and Mark Tappening. The name of the company is a tribute to inventor and electrical engineer Nikola Tesla. Eberhardt and Tarpening held the positions of CEO and CFO respectively. Eberhardt stated that he wanted to create a car manufacturer that is also a technological firm. With essential technologies such as the battery, the computer software, and the propriety motor, Ian Wright, who joined Tesla a few months later was the company's third employee. Back then, Tesla was known as Tesla Motors. The founders were influenced to start the company after General Motors recalled and then destroyed all of its EV1 electric cars in 2003. They saw battery electric cars' higher fuel efficiency as an opportunity to break the conventional link between high performance and low fuel economy in vehicles. Elon stepped into the picture when the founders were looking for financial resources. He made a fortune when the financial services company he co-founded, XCOM, merged with a competitor to form PayPal. Elon walked away with $180 million when eBay bought PayPal in 2002. He then invested all of his earnings into new ventures. He invested $100 million into SpaceX, $10 million in SolarCity, and $70 million in Tesla, including $6.5 million at the start, and became the company's chairman of the board. I thought the probability of success was so low that I provided all of the money. All of the money just came from me personally. I didn't want to ask any investors for money if I thought we were going to die because I thought we were. I invested entirely the money that I got from PayPal. All of that got invested into Tesla, SolarCity, and SpaceX, Musk said. Tesla had a banner year in 2006. The Roadster debuted in 2006, only three years after the start of the company, a stylish and quick electric car. The company's strategy was to begin with a premium sports car aimed at early adopters, followed by sedans and cheap compacts. The car had either 248 or 288 horsepower depending on the model, and it could go from 0 to 68 miles per hour in 3.7 seconds and cover 245 miles on a single charge. However, there were quality issues as well as several production problems. Eberhard was eventually fired as CEO before the Roadster even got into production, which didn't happen until 2008. Tesla was about to run out of capital. The business projected $25 million for the Roadster's development, but it ended up costing $140 million, roughly five times the budgeted amount. Tesla had just $9 million remaining to fund the entire firm by the fall of 2008. It was a chaotic period for Tesla, with numerous CEOs coming and going, and Elon was eventually left in charge. He mentioned this in an interview regarding the major decision he had to make, whether to let Tesla perish or keep it alive with considerable pain. He chose to keep Tesla alive, but it couldn't have been more difficult. However, when the financial crisis arrived in 2008, like other automakers, Tesla was on its final legs and desperately needed cash to survive. General Motors and Chrysler both got billions of dollars in government bailout funds in December 2008 to stay afloat. However, Tesla still needed a miracle to continue in business. Elon worked hard to save his companies. He laid off 25% of Tesla's workers and asked the support of friends to cover payroll. But by 2008 December, Tesla was on his way out. Nonetheless, he did not give up. He pulled up $20 million from various sources, including money he earned by investing in his cousin's data center business, Everdream, which Dell had purchased the previous year. Investors agreed to match his efforts. Elon was able to attain $40 million round of financing on Christmas Eve. It was only possible in the last hour of the last day. Tesla barely made it through in 2008, but it needed more money to stay afloat. This occurred in May 2009, when German carmaker Daimler invested $50 million in the company, acquiring a 10% stake. Daimler and Tesla had previously collaborated on an electric smart car. The company also secured a $465 million loan from the United States Department of Energy, which has a program that supports clean technology startups. 
Tesla found a more stable answer the following year when it went public for $17 per share. Despite the roaster's problems, Tesla had accomplished something no other company had ever done before. It demonstrated that electric vehicles could be both stylish and fast. However, the roaster was too expensive for the majority of people, costing more than $100,000. So, they made another car. Tesla shocked the world when it began shipping the Model S sedan in 2012. The Model S could travel more than 300 miles on a single charge and was less expensive than the Roadster, though still costly. Tesla's troubles were far from over, as the company nearly went bankrupt again in 2013. Despite the Model S's great demand, customers who put down a $5,000 deposit were hesitant to complete their purchase. There were numerous reasons for this, including complaints about the interior, kinks of the vehicle, and some of the first versions lacking parking sensors and cruise control, which are standard features in high-end automobiles. Such concerns were also raised about the resale value. When Elon discovered the problem, he did three things. First, he made every Tesla employee a salesperson. They called everyone who had put down a deposit and tried to convince them to buy the car. Secondly, he convinced his friend Google CEO, Larry Page, to buy Tesla if the firm ran out of money. Finally, Tesla shut down his plant because orders were not coming in quickly enough, but did not publicly declare this because it would have been panicked investors and sent the stock price falling. Instead, Tesla stated that it was closing for maintenance, which was technically correct, but not the entire picture. The strategy was successful. Tesla stunned Wall Street on May 8, 2013, when it posted its first profit as a public company. Tesla earned $11 million on $562 million in sales in the first quarter after delivering 4,900 Model S vehicles. The Tesla Model 3 is the best-selling plug-in electric car of all time, and in June 2021, it became the first electric vehicle to sell 1 million units globally. Elon saved Tesla from certain death yet again. But there was still more to come. The company's problems were far from over, and it was on the verge of going bankrupt again in 2018. It was all about the Model 3 this time. Elon's ambitions from the beginning was to produce an affordable electric car that would be paid for by the more expensive cars, the Model S and the Model X, both of which were released a few years earlier. The Model 3 had a base price of $35,000, and with that low price came a lot of demand. However, because of the huge demand, the company had to produce cars on time. Tesla struggled in meeting its production targets. Tesla was aiming to produce 5,000 Model S's every week, but only 9,800 were produced in the first three months of 2018. Tesla was losing money as it tried to increase production. It suffered a $1 billion loss in the first half of 2019 and was forced to raise cash. Elon said the company was on the verge of bankruptcy in a matter of weeks. He even slept on the factory floor since he didn't have time to go home. Despite the difficult production process, Tesla succeeded once again. It turned a corner in the second half of 2019 by delivering over 92,000 Model S's in the fourth quarter. A 46% increase over the same period this previous year, and the most recent model, the Model Y, was ahead of schedule. It is now planning several ambitious projects, including fully autonomous driving, a million-mile battery, and driverless cabs known as robo-taxis. As of October 2021, Tesla's stock price is around $865 per share. Tesla has had numerous near-death encounters, and through it all, Elon has never gave up. Tesla is not only alive, but his future is still being written because of his vision, ambition, and relentless determination. With that, we have come to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Do let us know your thoughts in the comments below, and we'll see you in the next video.